Hi guys and welcome to another bookshelf tour. In this episode I'm going to be sharing with you all my Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel collection and I do have a lot. Before I get going I'm going to say that since I do have so many Buffy and Angel books I'm just going to very quickly say what the title of the book is. I'm not even going to say who the author is. Every single one of these books has a different author. And in this video, if I just kept mentioning everything in the world and giving a summary about every single book, this video would probably end up being 30 minutes long. So I'm just going to quickly just go through all these books. And if there were ones that I particularly liked, then I'll mention them in a bit more detail. To start with, these first two are Return to Chaos and Child of the Hunt. The next is a trilogy called the Gatekeeper Trilogy, and the books are titled Out of the Madhouse, Ghost Roads, and Sons of Entropy. And these three are actually some of my favorite books out of my entire Buffy and Angel collection. Just had a really great story, and like I said, it's a trilogy, so it's just really, really great and much more in-depth with the characters and the plot. Next, Obsidian Fate, Immortal, Sins of the Father, and Resurrecting Ravana. Prime Evil, The Evil That Men Do, Palio. And The Evil That Men Do is actually the very first Buffy book that I remember buying in my collection. Spike and Drew, Pretty Mates All in a Row, Revenant, The Book of Fours. And the Spike and Drusilla book is another of my big favorites out of my collection. I believe it takes place sometime in World War II, and it's basically, it's basically like a, uh, a thing before Spike and Drusilla ever came to like the United States and what they're doing in Europe during World War II. Next is another trilogy, but this is a Buffy and Angel crossover trilogy, and the crossovers on the tel like the between the television shows were some of my favorites. This is called the Unseen Trilogy, and these books are The Burning, Door to Alternity, Long Way Home. And I actually remember not really liking this trilogy too much, especially after reading the Gatekeeper trilogy, which I said was really amazing. This one, even though it was a crossover between the shows, was kind of disappointing. Tempted Champions, Oz, Into the Wild, Crossings, The Wisdom of War, Little Things, These Are Actors, The Lost Slayer, Chosen, Blood and Fog. And Chosen is actually just a an adaptation, I guess, of the final season of Buffy. Every single episode is put into this one big book. Seven Crows, Chaos Bleeds, Mortal Fear. And Chaos Bleeds, if you were a Buffy fan and you happen to get the video game, that's what Chaos Bleeds is. It's a just a written up version of what the video game was. Cursed and Monster Island. This is another trilogy called Wicked Willow, and these are basically books that are taking place during, I believe, season six, during that time when Willow kind of turns to the dark side. And as you can see from the cover, these like when she has the black hair and stuff. But this series has The Darkening, Shattered Twilight, and Broken Sunrise. And rounding out the last of my Buffy-related books is Spark and Burn. And this is pretty much the last Buffy book I ever bought. Uh, there were more Buffy books released, but then I was starting to get kind of annoyed with the series. The writing just didn't feel as good. I especially loved the early books because those were the ones that took place in, you know, Sunnydale High School. And... Those always had really great stories, and I just was getting disappointed with these ending books near the end of the series because then they were related to, like, after Buffy got out of college, and they were just boring, to say bluntly. Moving on to my angel books now, I have City Of, Not Forgotten, Redemption, and Close to the Ground. And City Of is basically the very first episode of Angel, just in book format. Shakedown, Hollywood Noir, Avatar, Soul Trade. Bruja, The Summoned, Haunted. And as you can see, The Summoned is, I believe, one of the last ones where Doyle was featured in the books. Image, Stranger to the Sun, Vengeance, The Longest Night, Volume 1. Impressions, Nemesis, and Book of the Dead. And just as a side note, the Angel books were probably my favorite favorites compared to the Buffy books. I don't know. I actually always preferred the Angel show more so than Buffy. I think I just liked the darker atmosphere presented in Angel and the books kind of carry over that darker atmosphere. And like Buffy, Book of the Dead is, it wasn't the final Angel book, but 
by this time I was just getting tired of collecting all these books. So that one was just one of the last ones I stopped at. So that concludes this bookshelf tour. You all probably didn't believe me when I said I had that many Buffy and Angel books, did you? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and share. Thanks guys. Bye.